All right, so now we're going to add another subdivision level and go back into uh, the sculpting mode and add in the necessary detail. This is the second to highest level of um, multi-resolution. So we want to make sure we get as much detail as it, out of it as we can um, because the next resolution is the highest we're going to be going. Okay, so his mouth needs a lot of work. We're going to use the crease tool and size it down with F and try to crease in some lip detail. We also want to use draw and subtract with it to um, add in some detail. I suppose we don't want to crease it till towards the end of modeling his mouth. Um, just use the add and subtract back and forth to add the detail of the lips. Fill it in some. It doesn't have to be perfect and um, we're going to be working more on the lips later as well once we um, open up his mouth some and add some teeth to him. But um, that's some basics on the lips there. They're very rough right now, but we can smooth them on the next level of subdivision. Next is we're going to do a little bit more detail on the ears. We're not going to go all the way on the detail, but let's get some more work on the ears. So I'm going to drag down. Um, I'm going to drag this down. Then I'm going to go over to the UV image editor and open a reference image for the ear. So I'm going to go over to my research and references and grab a ear. Um, it's not the best image in the world, but um, you know, gives us a lot of detail and it helps. So I'm going to go over here, add, and start adding in the detail. One thing we want to make sure is that it's far enough away from the ear, so we can um, uh, from the head, so we can. Um, separate it a little bit later. So size that up and bring that around. Keep adding to it. And even add to it inside because we want a little bit more, um, a little bit higher in there. And we want this to curve around right here. See it curves around. So we want to make sure we have this curve around inside and that goes up there and we have another dip up here so we go to the subtract tool and subtract some. We don't want it too deep and um, just keep adding some more detail as we go along. And this, an interesting point, is this doesn't just go down into the cavity. This actually has a whole layer above before it gets down to the cavity of the um, of the ear, the eardrum. So bring this up and add some detail right here. Keep adding some detail. Smooth it out some. And then we still want to add this lip right here, that, that piece of um, flesh. That in turn connects up there. And we do want this eardrum hole right here to be pretty deep. I'm going to go over here to the sculpt draw brush and um, add some more detail in there by subtracting from there until we get a bit of a cavity in here. Okay, So that's enough work on the ear for the moment. Um, in the next level of detail we'll come back and finish out the ear, but uh, we're not quite there yet. So actually I think we will add a little bit of detail right here by using the sculpt draw brush and just sculpting away at it um, to um, add some detail. Then use a smooth brush and smooth out that transition 
and like I said in the next subdivision level we'll add even more detail to it so um, that's the basics for that there for the ear Let's move that out some more use the grab tool and bring it in and use the grab tool and bring these parts out some since the ear is actually somewhat av of an angle depending on how much um, how far out your ear goes so but we can bring that in some all right so there are the ears and um, later on we'll be messing around with the symmetry and um, making one eye different from the other and one side of the mouth different so we'll get to that in a little bit but uh, first we do want to um, I suppose we'll work on the eye a little bit later so next is working on the brain I'm going to save and I'm going to save as by hitting F2 the plus symbol on your numpad and the enter symbol on your numpad and we have a copy with um, a one after appended to it so smooth this out a little bit since I am a save addict <laughs> sometimes I'm not and then um, that's a bit dangerous but other times I really like um, saving all the time so in the times that I'm not it's usually when I start out a file and I'm messing around and I really don't feel like saving it I just feel like doing whatever I'm doing in the file um, but uh, it's always good to save early on and save often otherwise you might lose your work so alright and it looks like we want to um, do something with the head here it looks like it's too wide too wide and so um, we want to fix that so I'm going to use the grab tool and compensate for it some and once again it doesn't have to be quite perfect because this is a zombie so we could say as an excuse for a misproportioned head we could say well he's a zombie and uh, you know zombies have strange looks but it's best to get as close to a human as you can so that um, it's the most frightening because um, the closer to reality that the zombie looks the more you'll be able to connect to him and realize how disturbing it is to see a human being's flesh peeling off and um, if you have that bit of realism there you're going to get people's attention a lot more than just a um, crummy looking fake looking um, mold of flesh peeling off because you can't relate to it so it's relating to that fear that makes something scary it's imagining that the monster really could be in your closet and so you really need to watch out when you go to bed otherwise he might creep out at night and kill you or something so um, it's it's the relation to reality that makes things scary alright so we have the basics in here and the next thing we're going to do is add in um, breakout part of the head for the um, cut away from the head for the brain to be exposed so I'm going to save and save as and I'll be right back for that